Okay, we're going to talk about chapter 14 of conceptual physics. Uh, we're going to focus on gases. Uh, so I'm going to dismiss uh, my, uh, my image. And uh, this lecture will help you understand the atmosphere, atmospheric pressure, the barometer, Boyle's law, buoyancy of air, Bernoulli's principle, and plasma. Uh, those are the sections that we're going to cover. And we'll just start with uh, uh, the atmosphere. The atmosphere is an ocean of air. It exerts pressure. It, there's a, right above you, there's a column of air that's above you that it, it has weight. And it, it uh, puts pressure on you. It puts pressure on everything. Um, this was demonstrated by the Magdeburg hemispheres um, demonstrated in 1654 by Otto von um, It showed the large magnitude of atmospheric pressure. Now, what, what he did, he had two spheres that he evacuated. And what's difficult to see in this image, you can look it up. You can look it up, the uh, Magdeburg uh, demonstration. And what you have down here is a team of horses. The team of horses uh, going in opposite directions could not pull this sphere apart uh, because of the uh, atmospheric pressure that kept them side by side. That's what this uh, image is demonstrating. And this is what the uh, atmosphere looks like when, when uh, if you go to sea level and go downward, you have the density of water is pretty much uniform from the surface down to uh, you know great depths. But in in our atmosphere, you can see that it's uh, it's not distributed uniformly. Fifty percent of the atmosphere is below five point six kilometers. So this is where most of the atmosphere is. As as you go up, it becomes less and less dense. Um, and you can also notice that it gets colder and colder. Um, at uh, 10 kilometers, that uh, it's at 36 degrees. At the uh, uh, at about 20 kilometers, 90 percent of the atmosphere is below this level. And at 30 kilometers, 99 percent of the atmosphere is below here. So it becomes very, very um, uh, less dense as you go as you go up. Uh, up in height. Okay, so atmospheric pressure is caused by the weight of the air. It varies from one locality to another. Uh, it's not uniform. Measurements are used to predict weather conditions. Um, you can be, if the pressure starts uh, dropping, it's very likely that we're going to get uh, get rain. If it the pressure is high, uh, the often call it a heat high, and we have a, a hot weather for an extended period of time as long as the high pressure system is over us. Okay, pressure exerted against bodies immersed in the atmosphere result from the weight of the, press, of the, pre, of the air pressing from above. At sea level, it's 101 kilopascals, or 1,001 uh, thousand pascals. Uh, the weight of air pressing down on one square meter at sea level is about 100,000 newtons. So atmospheric pressure is 10 to the fifth newtons per, me per square meter. Okay, now pressure at the bottom of a column of air reaching the top of, a, of the atmosphere is the same as the pressure at the bottom of a column of water 10.3 meters high. As a consequence, the highest the atmosphere can push water up into a vacuum pump is 10.3 meters. So uh, if your well is longer than 10.3 meters, you're gonna have trouble getting that, that water out. So mechanical pumps that don't depend on atmospheric pressure don't have the 10.3 uh, meter limit. So if it's just, if it's a, a pump that's trying to evacuate a, a, a pipe, and it relies the air pressure to pull it up, it doesn't have that limit. But if it's just, just a simple pump that relies on the atmospheric pressure pushing down in the surrounding water, it can't get it higher than 10.3 meters. 
Okay. Um, the maximum height to which water can be drunk through a straw is 10.3 meters, about 76 centimeters. Has no limit, none of the above. Well, we've just discussed it's 10.3 meters. However strong your lungs may be or whatever device you use to make a vacuum in the straw at sea level, the water could not be pushed up by the atmosphere higher than 10.3 meters. Um, okay, so here's a barometer. This barometer is, uh, this sketch of a barometer is filled with mercury. Um, so this, you, you fill this tube with mercury, uh, invert it into a bath of mercury, and then this up here is just a vacuum. This is a vacuum, and the, um, the weight of, of uh, the weight of mercury, this weight of column of mercury is the same as the weight of air pressing down on this bath of mercury. So they balance out. And so you get 760 millimeters of mercury or 76 centimeters. Um, it's about 30, uh, uh, 30 inches. Uh, you listen to the local weather, they're, they're expressing the, the uh, uh, they express the pressure in terms of inches uh, of mercury. Let's see what uh, it currently is. The um, right now the air pressure is thirty point one inches. Um, thirty point one inches. Uh, that's thirty point one. Thirty point one. Enter two point five four. Uh, no, that didn't work. Uh, thirty point one. Enter. 2.54 times, it's uh, 764.5 millimeters right now. So it's a little, it's a little higher than the standard, um, standard pressure. Uh, you just multiply the, the, um, the 30 inches by 2.54. Um, actually, you can do it 25.4. Uh, millimeters per inch and you'll get your, your 760. Okay, um, so it consists of mercury, a mercury tube upside down in a dish filled with mercury. The height of the mercury column tells us the atmospheric pressure. So it'll go uh, with, with high pressure, it'll go up. With low pressure, it'll go down. Okay, the principle of the barometer, the mercury column exerts pressure on the mercury in the dish. Atmospheric exerts pre pressure on the mercury in the dish. These two pressures pressures must be equal that the, the, the atmospheric pressure supports the mercury column. Okay. Why don't barometers use water instead of mercury? Because water cannot be used because it does not exert pressure. B, water cannot be used because it sticks to the glass. C, water can, can be water can be used, but the barometer will be too tall, or none of the above. And the answer is C. It would have to be 10.3. Uh, meters. Uh, water is 13.6 times less dense than mercury. So if we were to use water in a barometer, it would be 13.6 times taller than a mercury barometer. So it would be 10.3 meters tall. And that's not practical at all. Okay, and there's a different kind of barometer, the, a dial barometer. Uh, a different kind of barometer is the aneroid barometer. It's a, there's a partially exhausted metal box with, of air with a flexible lid. And as the lid bends in or out with changes in the atm atmospheric pressure, it's indicated um, on the scale. So atmospheric pressure decreases with increasing altitude. So it can also be used as an altimeter, it measures the altitude. So, um, and I think that's the end of part one. And, uh,